I'm going to ask you about uh, session duration. How long do people sit at their laptops? And uh, by a session, I mean some period of time that there's activity, user input on the PC, then a session ends if there's a two minute break with absolutely no user input. How many people think that that's going to be less than 30 minutes? 30 minutes or less? Let me just see the raise of hands. How many think it's going to be 30 minutes or more? All right, it turns out that the average amount of time in the chart is actually less than four minutes. Whether that be a smartphone, a mid, a laptop, or a netbook. But the sessions are short. The laptop one, which is what this data is from, is actually the longest, and I think it's 3.8 minutes is the average session. So there's another kind of thing that's happening in the homes and uh, our lives that uh, we moved to having like uh, PCs and, and phones and other kinds of objects really being more part of our living environment. So how can we actually work on this to enable more of a, of a dyna dynamism with our, with our lives? So again, going back to what are people doing, this is a, a chart from a smartphone study. And uh, you can read this as the probability that somebody is on. So here the probability is zero that people are on. This is again, starts at midnight and goes to midnight, like our other time charts. And so it's kind of low. There are a few people that are on that kind of day, but there's not that many. Here, if you look just to the top of the bar, you can see during the course of the day, during most times of the day, people are actually on. And by on here, we mean checking. And this is, they, it gives you the frequency of how often they're checking. So the bulk of them are checking their machine, their smartphones, about every two minutes. Which is an incredible amount of thing. I haven't seen anybody jerk the phone out here, but in the other sessions I've been watching about five minutes into the talks, and people are starting to check their Blackberries or their iPhones. They're whipping out their notebooks and looking at their things. So it's a common practice amongst our technologies, and that's why you can see things like people putting their PCs in places that are convenient for them to check. So what are they checking? So it turns out that if you look across the applications that they're using, the websites that they're going to, about 70% of the time, stuff is social in nature. So in social, we mean things like, of course, Facebook and Twitter, but we also mean things like email and IME. So, so what are people doing on their laptops? And these are personal laptops, not necessarily work ones. But as you can see, right around 62% of all activity across 200 average users is devoted to the internet. Very small part is devoted to actual work. Compared to some of the kind of data that I did in 1998, so 10 years ago about, email is that email on clients anyway is down about 2%. About 10 years ago, it was 25%. So we've seen a shift in the kinds of activities they're doing. But again, if you think about the whole, again, shifting the time, the way you need to stretch time, the way it's interrupting, internet activities are like a perfect application for that. And just to show you how it's slight difference, so again, here's the laptop chart down here with our 62% of the activity. If you move it to a handheld device like a mid, it actually goes up. And more of that kind of activity is moving to the sort of handheld space, which is a great place to do the kinds of applications that we want to do on the web. And again, it kind of fits into what you might be doing in your life. So whereas a laptop might be sitting on a desk or a location, the mid you might be something you take with you, and you have even less time or less continuous time to kind of engage with it. And so you can pick it up and put it down at more of a drop of a hat. And so you can see that the web browsing goes up to about 80%. So what are some of the things people are doing on the web? And it, it turns out that one of the things, this is uh, obviously a YouTube, uh, self-created YouTube video from one of our participants in the study, which wasn't that old. And you find that about every minute, 10 hours of video are being uploaded to YouTube. So every minute, 10 hours of video are being uploaded to YouTube by often by people who aren't that much, who are not even over 20 yet. And what's even more amazing is there's about a million downloads a day. So uh, there's 36 million face photos being uploaded to Facebook today, every day. So we kind of see another kind of activity happening here where the internet is becoming a larger and larger part of our lives, but the internet is not one thing. It's kind of many things to many people. It's become sort of the platform of activity. One of the kinds of activity that's happening in that space is really is a growing 
production and consumption of media. The, the kid that we saw earlier on who was creating the YouTube videos actually does his searches on YouTube, not Google. That's the kind of shift that we see happening around media. And as the, as the uh, media gets richer, it's drawing more and more people into it as easy to view, easy to use kind of content space.